This is an example of how transformer oil samples are pulled for analysis. First, the tank is relieved of pressure. Most transformers have an operating pressure of around 2 PSI. Before an oil sample can be taken, the vacuum pressure gauge must read zero. The gas sample valve is opened to relieve the pressure. The cap is then removed from the sample port, and the drain valve is opened to purge any moisture, dirt, or other contaminants before sampling. Some people also recommend removing the drain plug on the end of the valve and cleaning it, just in case there are contaminants stuck to the back wall of the plug, but that's not usually needed. Sample syringes are provided by the laboratory performing the analysis. The valve on the syringe has three positions, closed to hose, closed to bleeder, and closed to syringe. With the valve in the closed to bleeder position, the sample can be taken. In this example, a small piece of plastic hose is used as an adapter to connect the syringe to the sample port. The adapter is also purged before the sample is taken. The syringe is inserted into the hose, the drain valve opened, and the syringe is filled to a little bit over the 50 cc mark. After the sample is pulled, the air in the syringe is evacuated. With the syringe in an upright position and the valve closed to either the bleeder or the hose, the plunger is pushed up, forcing the air and a little bit of oil out until the 50 cc mark is reached. With the valve in the closed to syringe position, the syringe is wiped clean of oil and packed for shipment to the laboratory for analysis. The sample port cap is reattached and the excess oil is disposed of per EPA guidelines. Finally, the tank is repressurized with nitrogen and closed.